Can I take your order? What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Leak. You feel me? Coming at y'all with another reaction video, man. You already know what time it is. Look, if you're not here on time, I'm gonna give you a two piece, bro. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. So you better be here on time, bro, because I don't want to have to hurt you. But I appreciate the support nonetheless, guys. We got what's his name? Jideon. I think that's how you say it. Yeah, I know this guy, but I don't know how to say his name. I think it's Jideon. We got a Jideon video. This video is called "He Came to Play Roblox with a 15 Year Old." So, um, as you can see right there, it says he's a pedo. Um, yeah. Hopefully they get this nigga a 10-piece, bro, because you niggas are too freaky. You niggas need some home training. You niggas need your parents to be in your fucking lives. Guys, y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand that the people that do this weird shit, their parents and shit, and who raised them plays a major fucking factor, guys. If you didn't grow up with any type of authority figure, then maybe you just think you can do all willy-nilly and do whatever you, the hell you want. That's not that's not right. If you didn't grow up with a mother, you may think it's okay to abuse women. If you grew up in an abusive household, you may think it's okay to abuse women. N these niggas need some home training. So hopefully this nigga get a 10-piece because you're too fucking grown. Go read a book and learn how to act as a, a regular human. My bad, I got worked up, bro. But look, I'm doing too much blabber, man. I got my Burger King here, says you can see. Let's get the video cooking. <laughs> Police know, wants to pick up this chick at the park and take her to the trail and uh, have his way with her. I don't Adam, want to go to prison. I won't play. You're not even crying. There's no tears. <laughs> I'm sorry. At the police station right now, man. I mean, I know you didn't raise him to be like that. Well, see, I've been to prison before. I mean, I've been arrested too, but like. I got arrested for a girl that lied about her age. And how old was she actually? 14. Ugh. What the fuck? This, this one, bro. Y'all finna make me lose it, bro. Y'all about to make me lose it. Y'all about to make me lose it. So, the dad trying to act like he don't know what the fuck going on. I, I got, I, I went to jail too. She lied about her age. She was actually 14. Nigga, you can tell if a shorty is fucking 14. Are we serious right now? Are we, can, you can't tell if a girl is 14. Dog, don't make, don't piss me off, bro. Don't, like father, like fucking son, bro. That's all I got to say. Oh my gosh, bro. And what's that, the little, that's the little flag, the confederate flag? Not making yourself look real good, buddy. Man, throw these niggas in the slammer, We're bro. We're catching an EDP today, man. But not just any regular EDP, y'all. We're catching a Roblox EDP, man. He's messaging what he thinks is a 15-year-old girl, and he's trying to meet up with her. So we're going to go intercept that. And the crazy part about it, he has Telegram. If one of these preds is trying to meet up with a young girl and they have Telegram, it's a 99% chance that they have freaking CP. On what the fuck is Hopefully, Telegram? We can get an arrest today. Alex, what's good? My best friend, dude. How you doing, man? What's up, what's up? We're live right now. What are we live on? Twitch. Okay, I'll watch my language. Hey, guys. <laughs> w man. And then also, for this one, I'm going to turn TTS on so you guys can say what y'all want about him. Why are you streaming with the racist guy who caught EDP? Well, dude, it's like yin and yang. One, one racist guy, one non-racist guy. We're coming together and ending racism, bro. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh my god, someone said your driver looks like he could be one. This man has over like 200 convictions on EDPs. What do you think about Vitaly? Fuck that guy. Really? Do you think his prank catches are real? Probably. I, I think what it is though, the reason they get so many at once, I don't think they're getting them to meet up for sexual stuff. I bet you they're probably saying in the chats like, come meet me right now, come meet me right now. I'm 15, but they don't like wait until they get sexual. That's why I think they get so many. Mm. Right? So I don't think he's faking it, I just think he's... Uh, Corners. You got some good shit. Is that the, oh, that's it? Yeah, yeah. Let me see. Go ahead. Dang, I want to show them a picture of him. Imagine a more fat Osmond Gold. So an obese rat. Oh my gosh. Can you tell them what all he said? Basically, this pedo wants to pick up this chick at the park and take her to the trail and uh, have his way with her. And he also cannot afford a condom and he's using his dad's car at 25 years old to go pick her up. He has the decoy as his screensaver chat. Like, this boy's in love. Oh my gosh. He also has a Twitch. So afterwards, I might shout out his Twitch. We might rate him. Or he might get rated by some alphabet people. <laughs> oh, that might be That's him. That's him. Alphabet. Gina, we'll go out with the football. I can have an excuse to just bring the car around. Okay. Basically, we're just going to run routes in his direction. Run routes. Yeah, let's pass that pigskin. Oh, yeah. It's a little peewee fast. 
Ooh, next catch. Alphabet people. P3, yo. We, we, we truly want to get this resolved with you and not just get this resolved as in we're shaming you or anything like that. Obviously, do you think we, if we were here to yell at you, I think we would have done that at this point, right? Yeah. Okay. Besides Lily, how many of, say, 15 year olds were kind of hitting you up? Not, not really much. What's that like? So one or two, 10, 20? No, probably like one, two. So there is. But then I don't really message them anything else. Okay, so basically there's a few people kind of at the borderline age that have kind of hit you up. Yeah. What about them kind of enticed you to message them back or to message them like? There's a lot of people just put shit in my head saying it's okay. Some people say it's not. And I know Man, you got a fucking brain cell, bro. I don't want to hear it. You got a brain in there. Nigga, you look like you fucking play. No, bro. Nigga, you look like you can fucking code some shit right now. And now you're trying to. People keep putting stuff in my brain. Bro, them fat ass socks, man. Bro, I hate, bro, these niggas, these, these niggas get caught up with this, this stuff, talking to underage, and then try to act like, oh, I, I didn't know no better. I didn't know no better. Bro, you a damn lie, bro. You a damn lie. Them fat ass socks, bro. I know you lying. I know you, you know when Pinocchio fucking knows, grow when he lie. Nigga, when, when you lie, them fucking socks get longer. <laughs> You lie, nigga. Them socks keep getting longer, nigga. I know you lying, bro. Talk about some people could putting stuff, bro. Does this look like a, a unintelligent motherfucker? Does it do it with them fat ass glasses? Does he? I don't want to hear that shit, bro. And he twenty five, bro. Nigga, nigga, calves is the same size as his ankles, bro. Like, come on, dog. No, and I shouldn't have fucking said it. So, when did this theme first start getting introduced to you of, like, person over 18 dating someone younger 18 online? Like, where, where have you seen that happen? Mainly VR chat. What's VR chat? Uh, it's a game in VR where you can meet all kinds of people. I had fucking people lie to me about their age and shit on there. And How I, so? I went off on them. Like, I was there with my friend. We both went off. Like, I... Yeah, so, so what did you want with uh, Lily, like, long term, I guess, you could say? Like... Was this somebody you wanted to be friends with for as l however long, or like what? Like I'm fine with friendships and shit. Yeah. To be honest. Maybe like FWBs. Mm, no, I don't really do that. To be honest. Wait, what? To be honest, I'm not even didn't really even plan on doing anything. You just want to make I'm a friend. I'm like too fucking nervous to do anything, anyways. Bro, you, I mean, you look like a confident dude to me. Like, no. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have the balls to come out here to meet a new girl that I met online. I, I was really fighting myself saying no it's not because like that's why I, like when i message like i don't know if i should so man slap that nigga for lying slap that nigga slap him slap him for lying bro bro i hate bro i just don't understand bro i don't understand how people just sit there with a straight face and lie and lie and lie i wasn't really even gonna Bro, these niggas make me sick. I fucking spit on you. Bro, I'll spit on you. Nigga, I'll spit on your ass, nigga. For real. And I, the spitting is the most utmost disrespectful thing to me. Nigga, I'll spit on you. Them big ass fucking socks, bro. Woo, I don't know how they keep it calm, bro. I don't know how they keep it calm. Because this is what I'm going to say to them. I'm going to be like, hey, bro. I'm going to be like, what's your issue, man? What's your issue? Oh, uh, well, well, listen, I don't want to hear that shit. Nigga, you 25 years old. 25 years old, bro. Go get your lazy ass in the gym. Go get your ass a, a fucking job. Go do some shit and fucking elevate because you're fucking bottom of the fucking barrel. You're bottom of the barrel. Oh, he's, I'm not a confident guy, but you mean you mean a stranger at the park, a, a little kid at the park. You didn't think, oh shit, bro. First off, this is weird. Why the fuck am I texting a kid? Then I'm meeting her at the park. But you're not confident? Bro, if I t meet a shorty on Tinder, bro, or something like that, and first thing she say is, meet me at the park. Nigga, who? Who finna meet your ass at the park? Nigga, I'm finna meet your ass at a public place, and then I'm finna see you coming my way first. I'm gonna see you before you see me. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure out if I wanna fucking vibe with you. Not no other shit around. This nigga got a lot of balls, bro. I'll just slap the skin off this nigga, bro. For real. I hope they slap him. How did you and Lily meet each other? Um, uh, the 
Roblox server. Roblox server. A lot server. of fucking people on there. Like when I messaged, like I don't know if I should. A I, I was nervous to do anything anyways. Bro, you, I mean, you look like a confident dude to me, like... No. I mean, I wouldn't have the balls to come out here to meet a new girl that I met online. I, I was really fighting myself, saying no, it's not, because, like... That's why, I, like, when I message, like, I don't know if I should. So how, how did you and Lily meet each other? Um, uh, the Roblox server. Roblox server. A lot of fucking people on there. A lot of people on there, like... That or what? Weird. You they might spin it over, big homie. I want to sit down. Yeah, you know. if you don't mind. I know this is the white only bench, but hopefully some, <laughs> some color can come in. <laughs> so how how the conversation go with Lily? Like when you'll start talking? What did she talk about with you and all that stuff? We started talking normally, I believe. I just told her I'm just mainly looking for a relationship and stuff, and trying not having really any luck. Mm -hmm. So Lily was uh, kind of the one that kind of showed you the time of day. Well, she, she cared about me, it felt like. Yeah. What did y'all kind of discuss? Relationship. I don't want to hear that soft ass shit. I got five pauses left, by the way, guys. I don't want to hear that soft ass shit, bro. She cared about me. Yes, I understand. Life is hard as a meal. I understand. I understand, nigga. That's just how it goes. That's just how it goes. Nobody's going to love you unless you're actually doing something with your fucking life. Besides your mom or, like, family. Nobody's Nobody's going to love you, bro. And that's not even guaranteed. Nobody's going to love you. For you to get love as a man, yes, you have to do something with yourself, bro. You have to do something with yourself. You basically saying that you're a waste of life, right? And nobody loves you. And, and nobody cares about you. Well, why do you think nobody cares about you, nigga? Because you're a fucking weirdo. You play Roblox every day. Nigga, go hit the gym. Get a hobby. Play a sport. You can meet some friends. Friends can meet you just some... Fucking get you to meet some old friends. Then you meet some old friends. Then you meet some girls. Then you meet some girlfriends. Now you got a big ass fan, friend group. Now you got people who care about you. Damn, you're not even fucking trying to fix it, bro. Yeah, nobody can see. She's the only one that cares about me. Look at him. Look at him. Them big ass socks, bro. Look at him. Trying to, trying to, bro. And then this nigga look, this nigga look about 6'2". Nigga trying to, nobody cares about me. What are you, a fucking little girl, bro? I would have slapped the skin off this nigga, bro. Me personally. Me personally, bro. Big ass fucking socks, man. Wise or... I, I say I normally date to marry in the future. I don't fucking cheat nothing. I'm fine with, like, waiting until yeah. she's, like, 18 and shit. Uh, wait, how old are you? I'm 25. 25? But that's probably a bit too much of an age gap though. Well, I mean, bro, I mean, love is love, man. So like, you know, if you want to wait, you want to wait, man. I totally get that. Did the chat ever get like uh, risque or flirtatious at all between uh, the two of you? I think a bit, and I, uh, my fucking dumbass, you know how guys get. Uh, have, yeah, we're... Have those times of days are fucking, my mind sometimes go a bit crazy and wild and shit. And... Then I just regret it afterwards. Yeah, I, I promise you, dude, I've been in situations where my mind's going crazy and I've put my thoughts on a DM with a chick, too, so yeah. I get that. So what what, what crazy stuff uh, was said to Lily from you? To be honest, I, my fucking memory is ass. I don't really remember much, but... What can you remember? Uh, I think neck kisses and shit, but... Neck kisses? Anything besides neck kisses is discussed? Probably a bit more. Like... Mm -hmm. We're not, we're not, obviously we're not judging you, dude, like. Didn't you say something about, like, wanting to do something in the back of your dad's car? My dad's car? Um, I said we could, like, spend the night at the park and uh, Crystal Springs and shit, just chill, watch YouTube. And I think yeah. you also said something about, like, not being able to afford, con I mean, I know in this economy, under Biden, who can afford condoms? Right. But you say, like, you couldn't afford condoms or something? Like Nigga, what? What? Oh! You said that, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so so we're bringing up condoms. Was there anything, like, sexual brought up? Yeah. What was brought up? I don't really want to fucking say it, to be honest. Dude, the, the reason why we're actually asking you is because we do have it here, and one thing I don't want to do is embarrass anybody. I don't want to read it myself, and I don't like reading too much. I'm a college dropout, so. <laughs> Y'all brought up sex. 
Okay. Listen, man. Oh, is this a fucking shocker? 25 and he a virgin, right? First off, he like he's scared to do that stuff. And then he's never had any actual play, but now he's talking about neck kisses. Y'all know what this nigga watches all day long, bro. Y'all know what he watch, bro. What's the nigga from GTA? What's his name? Um, the computer geek nigga. What's his name? Lenny or some shit? Lester. Lester. We got a fucking Lester right here, guys. As in mo Lester. As in child in front of that nigga. Bro, slap this nigga, bro. Slap him. When he was younger, he was at a bar with someone bought her uh, female a drink. He, she said that she was 18. Mm -hmm. Turns out she was 16. Got my dad in prison. So is your dad a sex offender? Mm, I don't think he is anymore. So here, here's what we're kind of curious. Mm -hmm. Turns out she was 16. Got my dad in prison. I don't like reading too much. I'm a college dropout, so. I'm done pausing. Y'all brought up sex. Yeah. Okay. Listen, man. I told her I was like a virgin. Then my dad even fucked up when he was younger. He was at a bar with someone bought her, uh, female a drink. He, she said that she was 18. Mm -hmm. Turns out she was 16. Got my dad in prison. So is your dad a sex offender? Mm, I don't think he is anymore. So here, here's what we're kind of curious about. Anymore. Saying you're a virgin and then saying how you want to have sex. That To me, that sounds like somebody who wants to lose their virginity. And every single one of us has been there at this point. I still want to lose mine. <laughs> yeah. But. Vegan. Yeah. Just what was said in the chat. I wouldn't want to touch that nigga. To do the deed. Uh, springs and shit. Never really planned on really doing anything because, of course, I'm too nervous. I get anxiety and. Do you ever get the itch to just want to lose it just to say you lost it? Well, my family keeps fucking saying shit about me not being a virgin still. They make fun of you for it? Yeah. Okay. I think you're being 95% honest with us, and the 5% that we're not having honesty is because you actually feel shame about this, which we actually appreciate, because if you just told us everything straight up, we would probably think you're a sociopath and be like, what the fuck are we running into here? So, obviously, I can tell you as a guy, I, I will never turn down sexual activity with someone who I think is hot, all right? I mean, you know, you have to look at me stupid if I think that would be the case with you too, okay? And I'm not saying you're not nervous. I'm not saying, you know, there's not jitters, okay? What I'm asking about is how the sex was gonna go down, and I'm not trying to hear, oh, I wasn't gonna do it, because, dude, come on, we're a little bit better than that, right? We can be a little bit honest. Was this something that you wanted to force onto her, or was it something you were going to let the her do? chat killing me. Okay. To be honest, like, I, I do not... Bro, why the chat do keep saying that? To be honest. Okay, so, so you were going to... Tell me about beating to this. Of course, I'm going to beat her. <laughs> That's how I always right. am. I appreciate I'm with, that. I'm like that with all my girlfriends and shit. Like, my first one, she said that she wanted to. I was like, are you sure you want to do this? And, like, then... Uh, she stank down there. I'm just gonna say that I killed me inside and so <laughs> smiling then you crying, smiling? I'm just relating like oh <laughs> 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 I don't wanna make this about me. <laughs> you know that um that <laughs> No. Bad guy, you know what I mean? Who doesn't want human connection? Like, were you planning on this being long term with Lily? Like, maybe hopefully, like. <laughs> Kobe like, Magic and shit. Like, I was like, relationship type of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was practically going for. Like, like, boyfriend, get her flowers, take her to yes. the movies. That's you know, obviously, half sex. We wanted to do that with her as well. Not all the I'm Not all the time, of yeah. course. It's just something. Yeah, it's not, it's not only about that. We know. Not, like, I'm. Like I said, we know. Just so, just really It's all, yeah. So, yeah, I like your Danny Duncan uh, sweater, though. That's Naruto. No, it says Virginity Rocks on there. I mean, surely an anime sweater at 25 signifies that Virginity Rocks, right? Or, oh, did I, did, did I mix that up a little bit? <laughs> Sorry, I, I get my brands mixed up, bro. <laughs> clearance guy. This was a three dollars at Walmart. But um, yeah, that started crazy. Have, uh, Telegram. I had Telegram like years ago, okay. and I get random ass people messaging me like, "Who the hell is this?" So when's the last time you think you were on Telegram? What the fuck is Telegram? Fuck, I have no idea. Maybe like a couple, couple months years. ago. A couple years ago. Yeah. Okay. Is that is that a confidence? Is that like some weird or? shit? Because I know sometimes I get like I think something was years ago, but really it was just like, like a couple months like ago. <laughs> 
probably, probably a year ago. Just it to, it, uh, I think confirm, it was <laughs> your phone number does end in a two four eight five, right? Yeah. Okay. We saw that you're kind of last on Telegram October tenth, which was uh, less than a week ago. Is there? Do you think there's anything on Telegram that maybe you shouldn't have been associating with, or maybe some weirdos that you want to get wanted to get out of? Just some random messages that I think got somehow have my phone number. I guess. What were these messages like? It's some job saying that they pay like six hundred dollars a week and whatever. Most people that we also aren't bad guys, like we'll talk to them, and it's just a kind of coincidental thing where like they'll have Telegram and then they'll get these unwanted pictures of younger females and boys that they really don't want on their phone. Has that ever happened to you? No, not, no. not for that. I know for sure because you know obviously you're not the first person we've talked to that's been younger and that needs to get their kind of life back on the right course when we're in like these vr communities when we have apps like telegram and you know roblox and all this type of stuff, <laughs> roblox the chance roblox. of weirdos not trying to get you to join their little click and their little activities is zero that, that's never happened well, let me ask you this has anybody hit you up on any of these apps or discord or <laughs> roblox <laughs> Hey, are you interested in younger pictures? Because I, I'm very, I would bet a good money that that's happened before. If you, dude, some random person sent me a fucking dick pic. Like, they just, like, messaged me and say, hey, it's like, I was like, hey, what's up? And then they fucking threw him right there. It's like, nope, I blocked them instantly. I don't want to see none of that shit. Bro, they want to see it. What I'm asking is, like, have any of these weirdos or creeps hit you up? It's basically advertising no. that they have younger photos and this and that. No. Would you be able to verify that for us on Telegram? On Telegram? Yep. I think I have everything deleted. <laughs> no, I don't even have Telegram. Before we deleted it when I got that message and shit. Okay. Is there anybody on Instagram you've come across that you think would be trying to... I haven't... I don't think I've used Instagram in a hot minute. So, but have you seen anybody on Instagram that's been like, hey, I have younger photos or anything no. like that? No. The only time, probably, I don't know how long ago, mm -hmm. it was a... Uh, Another Discord server. Okay. I'm about to tweak out. I don't want to listen to this nigga. Hold on. My motorcycles and yeah. Okay. Well, what? I want to show you. You you want to have sex with her? How you want to? I don't know why that fucking entire conversation came up. But why 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 would you tell her how like you want to? You you want to have sex with her? How you want to? You know. But like why 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 would you like talk that graphic with her? Let's yeah, talk over there for a second. This, this guy's not connected for shit. Like, I think what we should do, we're just gonna call the cops on him, just make him aware, make them aware, see what they can do, if they want to even do anything. You've been honest with us, Don, and I really appreciate it, man. I'm just trying to find the right path, to be honest. What do you think the right path is? I, I do not know. I, no, I just took the wrong one. Here you say, can I come down your throat? Why would you... Oh, I'm glad I didn't skip all the way ahead, bro. Oh my gosh, because we would have missed this freaky ass nigga. Bro, slap, slap, slap this nigga, slap this nigga, slap this nigga, slap this nigga, slap him, slap him, slap him. I want to see you fucking slap this nigga, please, please, bro. Please, I'm fucking spitting, bro. Please slap this nigga, bro. This nigga trying to act like, oh, look at him trying to hands in his pocket. Oh, I'm just so experienced with my fat ass, long ass socks. They fucking come up to my kneecaps damn near. My fucking Naruto hoodie fucking swoosh over fucking comb over cut with my fat ass glasses. I'm just so innocent. And then you talking about some, I want to shoot down your throat. <laughs> to a, to a underage. Slap this nigga, please, bro. I'll be tired, bro. Niggas be quick to try to. Bro, you look 6'3", bro. You look 6'3", about 300 pounds. That's what you look like. Nigga trying to, you know, nigga been looking down the whole time, you know, uh, yeah. bro, slap this nigga, bro, slap this nigga. I don't know, I don't know why y'all showing mercy, bro. I don't know why y'all showing mercy, bro, because you feel, I ain't gonna make this about the black community, but niggas getting their ass cooked and put on shirts for shit way smaller than this in my, compu com my compu community, which is unfortunate, but um, times to get violent are in times like this. Slap this nigga, bro, slap some sense into him, bro, make him think twice every time. Please. Because the, the, uh, the police need to come slap this nigga. Since they, the police like to, you know, sometimes get mad physical and shit. So come get physical with this nigga. What if it was your kid? 
Think about that. How about you get physical with this nigga, please? That's what I want to see. That'd be very, very fucking satisfying, man. Mm. Why would you tell a fifteen-year-old that you want to come down her throat, man? I was just fucking Here you say, "Can I come down your throat?" Why would you? Why would you tell a fifteen-year-old that you want to come down her throat, man? I was just Duh. Right there. Duh. I mean, no, I get that. You know, that happens sometimes. You know, we uh, we let our urges get to us, bro. But like, you know. Slap this nigga, doing please, with, you know, bro. Girls our age, man. Like, you know, you should be doing that with 19, 20-year-olds. Right. And you could definitely could pull that. Talk about wish I could find somebody, find somebody in my fucking 20s. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. What's the name got me? I, that's, that's my last pause. What's the name got me dead because he's like... Gideon is just a character anyway, bro. And he like in his face, he's like, why would you walk? He all oh, the nigga girl like, why? He, he ain't have to say it twice, dog. But he like all in his grill, like, why would you tell a fifteen year old? Like, bro, just chill, man. Damn. Uh, well, like you know, he knew in some scenes, like he would steal the girls that he was messing with panties and kind of collect them as trophies. And you said, wear panties you want to give to me, and then it's just something that that kind of turned me on a bit. So you like keeping panties? I don't keep panties. But Bro, this nigga think he's Sponge. Bro, y'all, that's my last fall. Bro, y'all remember when fucking SpongeBob and they stole the panties? <laughs> this nigga think he on that episode, freaky ass nigga. All right, I'm done. Hello, I'm keeping my, I'm putting my hands in my shirt. Where you got that idea from with SpongeBob, maybe? So I won't pause the video. Yeah, he said SpongeBob. See? I watch. What anime? It's like something jobless or whatever. Anime. Where he keeps his master's fucking panties. That's a fucking. That he praises them and shit. Why he smiling? I don't know. Nigga, so watch anime you know, corn, bro. Gave you that idea. I don't know. It's just something that kind of turned me on. He said, you know, "Show KSI you know, song." Wrong, right? Yes. You said, "I feel like I'm gonna get a case." Yeah, I know. I just. You're 25. You have your whole life ahead of you. We're, we want to intercept this now, so that way it doesn't get bad. We don't want you to end up like your dad and go to jail. Yeah. I don't know what people do. People like me. What do they do to people like you? Well, they probably kill them for one. I've heard a lot of people like to kill people. Well, they didn't kill your dad. Well, because he is a fighter. You asked her, do you finger yourself? And then you asked, would you want me to teach you? The first girlfriend, I did, did not know what the hell I was doing in the Yeah. My second one is the one that taught me. And shit. How have you a fucking vert? Yes, yeah, so there's only two. Was this the one that was stinky downstairs? The first one. How bad was it? it smelled like someone died. Oh my god. So you didn't even want to smash anymore? No. <laughs> so your hopes, it smelled like your hopes and dreams, pretty much. Yes. Okay. Like, it was bad. And then the <laughs> <laughs> was he said it smelled like your hopes and dreams. <laughs> I don't know, but. I guess you can't Jeez. say that no more. She's lost weight. True. Can you read this for me? What you said right here? I want to have kids with you someday. Why would you tell a... Am I going to jail? Uh, no. chat, TTS is on. Uh, just so you know. <laughs> We're live right now. <laughs> you finally caused me to be turned on. Hell yeah, bro. No, probably not. Oh, man. Yo, Dude. chat, man. Go on and turn... We, uh, TTS is on, man. Go crazy on him. How's it going, sir? How's it going? We're just having a conversation here with Don. Um, basically, he was pretty honest with us. You're basically here to meet a 15-year-old girl for sexual purposes. What's TTS? That's pretty much just of it. Okay. okay. He also said that he wanted to come inside of her. Uh, he wanted to come down her throat. He acknowledges that he feels like he was going to catch a case. Uh, he asked her, does she finger herself? And if he wanted her to teach him. Bro, you don't got to uh, say that shit, bro. He said he wanted to have kids with her. And <laughs> That nigga crying! That nigga crying! I like to see that. I like to see that. <laughs> Slap that nigga! Slap that nigga! So I guess it runs in the family. Okay. Like father, like son. Look, don't don't even tell. Why they got me next to this dirty nigga? Slap that nigga! It's now dawning on you that your actions uh, have consequences. This is not the Shinobi way. Oh, is that like the Naruto hand sign there, or is that something else? <laughs> this is not a Genjutsu. 
This is real life. Can you please? I don't want to go to prison. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're not even crying. There's no tears. <laughs> This nigga faking! There's literally no tears. Warriors don't cry. I am scared. I mean, you should be. Hey, he might be a little no, autistic. I'm sorry. No excuse, though. Well, in prison, you have human interaction, at least. I need help, please. I need help. Well, he's here to help you. All right, Don. So here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to put you in cuffs right now. You're only detained. You're not under arrest at this time. Until Did I tell y'all this nigga was 6'3", 300 pounds? Okay. Did I tell y'all? This nigga might be 6'4", 6'5". Tires, man, you were, you were the wrong, you are messing with the wrong tires. Did you, what? Come over here. <laughs> what did he say? Hold on, what did he say? What did he say? Oh, what did he say? With that size, man, you were, you were the wrong, you are messing with the wrong tires. Did you, what? Come over here. Yeah, the nigga need to be playing for the fucking Lakers, bro. <laughs> bro, what is Jiddy on? Bro. Alright, we're just gonna go over here and have a seat in my car like about your own Bill friends, stinky pussy. Well, he was here to get cuffed anyway, I just not met that regard. Send him my way, he'll take him. <laughs> so much. Yeah. You really do need help. <laughs> he said, send him my way! Good job, dude. Great job, man. Yeah. Alright, so, I'll be honest with you guys, we've never had a yeah, predator sting here in town. Right, All right. right. Um, how do you guys want to give us all your information? Do you want to go down to the show? Sure, yeah, we can do that. Yeah. And we can just sit down. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. We have it all on a Google Drive I'll and say, everything. You have it all on a Google Drive? Yeah, yes, we'll, we'll dump the video for you all there too and everything. That's outstanding. Yep. All right. They're going to take your virginity in jail. Say hi to Diddy for me. <laughs> you can literally hear all of this. Get him a pack of honey buns for the cell. <laughs> he needs more than help. He needs Jesus. Nah, facts, facts. facts oh, he's but... crying. I hear him crying. Nah, 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 nah. Y'all should have slapped that nigga, hey, bro. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. Oh, man. Post game interview. Post game interview. It went great, man. Uh, we were really trying to get him on CP, but I genuinely believe he doesn't have any. Like that, I will agree. He probably doesn't have. But that doesn't change the fact that he came here to meet a minor. So, right, uh, right. <coughs> blood's cooked. We're at the police station right now, man. And there's also audio calls. Oh, should I shout out uh, what's his face's Twitch? Like, yes, go back? Dude. The last thing he streamed was Farm Simulator. This is his bio. It says, "I am your average casual gamer. I love sim games as well as first-person shooters." Let's run him up. Silver Dawn Gaming. How you doing? So Nebraska has, and it's also a felony, child criminal child enticement under the age of 14. Got it. So um, since the decoy was 15, would he not be able to get arrested? No, we're going to arrest him. No, we're going oh, awesome. to use yeah, yeah. a higher felony, but then <coughs> sexual assault, use of an electronic communication device, that's the one that says, or a peace officer who is believed to be such a per child, 16 ages ages or younger. Yes, sir. Which you guys aren't peace officers, but he's going to do attempted. So he thinks that will it'll cover what he's doing attempted. So it's a 1D felony, so he'll still get a class 2. Awesome. Why is this nigga sm You ready to talk to him? What's that? You ready to talk to him? I already talked to him. So, um... You the What's that? You the I Mirandized him. I read Ms. Miranda rights to make sure he understood everything, so... He's not very bright. I'm just letting you know. That's okay. That's why he's still living in the house. Okay. So. Oh, uh, he's yeah, autistic. Um, it's going to be an attempt of child enticement. <laughs> he said no or the fuck. What exactly did he do? Um, he believed that he was talking to a 15-year-old girl online and basically wanted to be up with her for sex. How you doing? I'm doing okay. There she up to. Hey. Bro, Gideon just don't care, bro. And they're making you wait here, man? Yeah, I just got you his keys. Man, this is ridiculous. Oh. What you here for, man? I'm here for a parking ticket. Well, my son just came to jail. What? I guess I had some kind of sting today. And... Like, what, you got stung by a bee? No, a, a 
predator sting or whatever you call that. Dang. Oh my gosh. They do that out here? Like, that's the first time I heard of it. He's in jail. Oh my so god. What what they get him for? Huh? Um, what do they call it? Well, actually, um, I don't know what they call it. Was it, is it like that Chris Hansen stuff? Yeah, kind of sort of. You know, to catch a predator. Is he here? Yeah. Is he here in town? Huh? Is he here in town? <laughs> I don't know if he's here. But oh. No. My son's, my son's in jail. <clears throat> oh, man. You think he did it? Or you think they might have set him up? This is a talent right here. This is what you call a talent, bro. You don't like that? W acting. Man. What? Oh, man. Well, I mean, if you want, like, I can show you the chat log. You got the chat? Yeah, like, the cops I gave it to me. Yeah, you want to see what he was saying? Yeah. Yeah, let me show, let me show you what he was saying, man. Let him know the head crap again. Uh, yeah, his name's Don, right? Yeah, Don Boomburn Jr. Yeah, so, um, he was saying how, you know, how she's really cute and how he wants to have kids with her someday. This is after he Do not say the one part. Oh, she didn't tell him his age. No, she did. This but is after. Did. Yeah, this is oh, after. after. Yeah. She told him his age. And then uh, uh, he asked her if she fingers herself. Um, he also asked if he want if she wanted him to teach her. He um, also had said, "Can I come down your throat?" Oh my god, bro! This is the That's third time, bro. Yeah, he said, "Can I come down your throat?" So I mean, I know we don't know our sons like that, but like. Yeah, like he, bro. The way this nigga like keep, us, bro, he put an emphasis to say it, bro. Um, want me to get lube? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. If I were you, I wouldn't even bond him out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, whoop that booty, man. I mean, that's just horrible. He said he's gonna I mean, beat I his ass. Raise him to be like that. Like we can only do so much for them, you know. Like we, yeah. we try to be good influences and push them in the right direction, and then they do some dumb stuff. Well, see, I've been in prison before. Yeah, but I mean, you know, like, I mean, I've been arrested too, but like, you know, we don't raise our kids to be like this. Yeah, well, see, I got arrested for a girl that lied about a rage. Ah, these hoes do be lying. Ah, I know exactly. I've, I've seen done, something like that. I've done two years for that. I've been out. I mean, the crime didn't happen. It's been over 30 years now. Yeah. In trouble, you know? Made one mistake. But still, you know. It'd be haunting. But, but I always tell my kids, do as I say, not as I do. Yes, sir. That's my rule. He said, bro, just wants to go no, back no, to his what, freak what, off. If you don't mind me asking, like, <clears throat> what did she, like, say she was? She says she's 18 and met her in a bar. Mm. What's a kid doing in a bar? Exactly. And how old was she actually? 14. Ugh. But she's buying me drinks, so. At that point, where's, where's the parents at? Where's the accountability? I don't know. But like I said, I even sent the cops to the bar. No one near shooting for my life. Yeah, my ass. Nah, uh, I mean, your, your situation is totally different from his. He knew off the rip. Yeah. See, but I always tell all my kids, I've got, I've had, I've had four boys and then worse girls. Mm -hmm. And I've told my boys, and I've told my girls. You do that same as I do. You can't do this. You can't do this. You yeah. You obey the law and stuff. You know, you can't. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like, I mean, like, he like got what you did, and then like times about ten, like, <laughs> asking a fifteen year old if he can come down, like, how how old is he, like, twenty like four? I think actually, I think he said twenty five. Might be twenty five. I got like, I got three kids with him. Like Adriana, let's say he's twenty five. She's twenty four. She's twenty four. My son Cameron is twenty three. Oh man, so, so you like. You be raw dogging. You be raw dogging. I see. You be raw dogging. Well, see, I've got I've got eight kids all together. Mm -hmm. I've got my adopted granddaughter because I adopted her. Mm -hmm. Trevor, mom, and Joe, and stuff like that. <clears throat> yeah. So both of them, just just extremely stupid guys. Um. <clears throat> huh, let's end the video. All within a year. My oldest daughter is Melissa. Mm -hmm. She's three months older than. No, she's six months older than Alexis. And she's nine months older than my son Trevor, so I had three kids within one year. <sighs> Yo, that's a Will, Will Chamberlain numbers. <laughs> How did that work? Will Chamberlain. Well, I had to pay child support on one of them. He said average racist intellect. I mean, what, what, what do you think made uh, 
what's his name again? DJ, uh, Don Jr. What, what do you think made him do this? Like, what, do something like this? I don't know. I mean, he's had... Problems. Like, he sent this to her, too. Like, <laughs> Ask him if he likes Kamala Harris. That's what he wanted her to do. Like. He's... Um, He's had girlfriends before, you know, not that young. Yeah. Just cheated on him, done drugs, and all this other crap. And I have no idea. What happened? We probably need everyone's information. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I was talking to the dad. He just admitted, like, everything to me. He told me like, how he got caught up, told me that, like, she was a 14-year-old girl. Oh, my God. Yes, sir. Is that the end of the video? Oh my gosh, bro. I hope y'all enjoyed this shit. This shit was out of fucking pocket, man. Damn, I don't even know what to say, bro. It's, it's, it's just... It, it's just Some people can be dangerously stupid, guys. We got crash outs and then we got fucking freak masters, bro. And that's what these people are. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Because I didn't. I'm going to catch you in the next video, man. Bye.